<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to Monster Hunter World Slinger Ammo Tier List, where we're going to be rating all of the types of Slinger Ammo you can find in-game. We're going to be riding a bandwagon that has fallen off a cliff and into the ocean. Let's go! So first we're going to start off with stones. Stones are like your standard Slinger Ammo, you can find them just about anywhere you can find rocks. They do a little bit of stun damage, which is apparently enough to break Kul Thoroth's horns in most cases. And you get a whole ass load of them. You get 20 by default, and then you get 35 with Slinger Capacity, which is a whole bunch, which is very helpful when you're using Slinger Burst a lot. D. We're putting those in D. Uh-oh, look out. It's Bomba time. Bomb Pods are the biggest damaging. They're the biggest damage boys out of all the Slinger ammo. Uh, they do up to, like, 150... I've seen... They've done 155 damage before, which is crazy. Uh, they auto flinch, and you get three of them by default, and then four with slinger capacity. Uh, I'm gonna put these guys at, <laughs> yeah, S. On the flip side, you got Bright Moss, which is almost completely useless. Uh, it can knock flying wyverns out of the sky if you hit them directly in the face, but it's really hard. Otherwise, you can just make monsters glow, which is mildly funny sometimes. Uh, F. Hmm. They do have one per- Nah, F. They don't do any damage with Slinger Burst either. Crystal Burst. Uh, I don't know, C. I mean, they're good at doing what they're supposed to. They're an auto-flinch ammo. Um, but that's basically it. An auto-flinch ammo is very helpful. You don't get a lot of them. Uh, and they proc Blast, but I've never seen that happen before. So, yeah, C. Okay, so next we got Dragon Pods. Dragon Pods apply Elder Seal on hit, and the Elder Boys really do not appreciate this, as Elder Seal nullifies their various effects. Um, here's a visual representation now. So as you can see here, it's like, it's like, Pshoo. Oh, he's just a cat now. <laughs> Thanks, editor. Oh wait, it's me. I'm putting it in A. It's good at what it does. Next, we got flash pods. Flash pods are every hunter's favorite slinger ammo until they got nerfed. Now people like to cry about how they don't work as well as before. Uh, we're gonna put these guys into D. Oh wait, I forgot to say what they do. So flash pods knock flying wyverns out of the sky. Uh, they get blinded in their eyeballs and then fall to the ground. It's basically crack if you're fighting Kushala. But in the end, it seems that we were the only ones who were blinded by our reliance on them. D, because they don't work that well anymore. Next, we got Dung Pods. We're gonna put Dung Pods into E for ew. They scare away monsters because they're so smelly, but don't use them. Don't use them because you're a strong boy. You can take on multiple monsters at once. <laughs> to be honest, it's actually a little bit easier when all the monsters are fighting each other around you because they're all focusing on not just you. They're focusing on each other. So it's just a mosh pit and you're standing there swinging around your weapon and most likely getting hits. So don't use it. Next we got the knives. Jotaro's least favorite slinger ammo. <laughs> you can coat these knives in whatever juice you find on the battlefield. Just mix them with files and you can shoot off and they have different effects. Uh, B. Yeah. Next we got the <laughs> scatter nuts. Uh, they're basically the same thing as Crystal Burst, but they do slightly more damage, and I think you can find them in more places. So, we're just gonna put them... B. Next, we got the Slinger Piercer, as I like to call it. It works really good against the Long Boys and the Heavily Armored Boys, because it hits them multiple times. So, it'll go through armor, and it's really good in Slinger Bursts. Uh, I'm gonna give these guys a nice, solid B. Next, we got Puddle Pods, or Water Moss. Water Moss is the big brother of Bright Moss, because it's got a lot more uses. 
if you shoot it in the mouth of an Anjanath while it's on fire, it will knock him down in this big knockover thing. If you shoot a Toby Kadachi in the tail with it, then it'll short circuit his tail, making him less electrified. And then there's the obvious use of cleaning off Baroth, Jirtotis, Beototis, and I think that's it. So, uh, D with you. Ooh, now we're talking about Thorn Pods. Wow. Thorn Pods are great. Amazing. There's nothing that's wrong with them. Really they are great. so good. I love okay, Thorn yeah. Pods. Because thorn pods stick to a monster, and then if you hit them, they blow up multiple times. If you slinger burst with them, they get absolutely covered in these things, and then they're just like... <gasps> and then... Uh, I'm gonna put these into S tier, because thorn pods are great. Imagine somebody playing a Tyler 1 screaming compilation on ear rape into your ear. Well, that's what screamer pods are, but for Diablos and Fish. It's just not possible. I'm frightened. Uh, they just bring monsters out of the ground if they are digging or swimming. Uh, C. We're almost done, kids. Hold on to your slingers. Now we're going to talk about torch pods. Torch pods leave little fires wherever you shoot them. These fires disperse the veil in the rotten veil, and they scare away small monsters. That's it. Uh, that's a nice C. Now you might be wondering, Timnus, why did you save red pit for last? It's just the same thing as stones, but you get less. False. Incorrect. Red pit is juicy. It's going to flood! Therefore, we're putting it into S rank for so juicy. Alright, that's it for this video. If you agreed or disagreed with my tier list, make sure you leave a comment in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, as I'm going to be releasing a lot of spicy Iceborne content. Okay, have a nice day.